Hi! Um, these videos never tend to do so well, but I'm just gonna go through it anyway because I want to. Um, so, what we're doing is that we're gonna focus more on the short films that we're making and like less on the longer films that I've been writing for a little while. Uh, because we want to put more out there and we're having more and more ideas for short films that we just want to push out there anyway. So we're just going to be doing that. And we actually currently have a short film in the making right now. Uh, I don't know the name of it just yet because uh, Mr. Ethan Roma, uh, the guy who's in all of our shorts and he's probably going to be in all of our shorts, um, he is the one writing it this time. And normally, he, um, Mr. Roma, he comes to me with an idea that he wants, asks me to write it, and then I'll write it in like a, like a day or two or something like that, and I will put it out there, and we're gonna film it and act and everything like that. But this time, uh, Ethan actually wrote it just a little while ago, and we're going to film a few days from now so they just look forward to that um i'm thinking ethan is going to be the main character again and we're going to have some other person be the side character we're going through auditions right now um yeah it's it's gonna be great uh what else is there so we are focusing heavily on one long film is going to be a military type film you know story is going to be put out there some other time um and actually we're working on a tv show yeah we're gonna have like episodic releases too it's gonna to be it's gonna be cool um it's gonna be some kind of um it's gonna be one of those 1930s gangster mob boss kinds of mafia type uh, shows. So it's not like super creative, but it's something I wanted to put a little take in. I've been writing it for a little while and um, I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, another thing I wanna talk about is we are for um, schedule. There's no existing schedule obviously you know between we can write films back to back to back but filming them in a whole because we normally take like one or two days of filming so that um so yeah and then you know the footage has to be transferred over to me so that i can edit it and i know i'm not the greatest you know editor you know you had that weird explosion um effect that i did in like two minutes uh, I tried to make it look better, and I'm going to talk about that too. I tried to make it look better. Did not work. Okay, it, 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 I know it looks bad, and I know it is bad, but please excuse me. Um, so, I also do want to talk about that. Um, Effects and editing is not my strong suit, okay? I enjoy the process of putting it together, piecing it together, you know, all that editing business. But when it comes to special effects, obviously we aren't the greatest, all right? You don't need money for that kind of thing, but you do need skill, and I just don't have the skill for that. Now, I am talking to one of my friends, hoping that he could put some of his editing biz because he is a little more experienced than I am. So we're hoping that he could do something like that. But for now, I'm the one doing it. So please excuse my talents. And um, yeah, the World War II film was supposed to be a little better. My friend on the field, it was supposed to be a little better. We um, cut a few things out of it because we are very tired. Um, now that sounds that that sounds bad but um we were tired like we had just gotten down the hill to the filming area because it's all the way down a hill and we were carrying all the stuff on us like the radio which was super heavy i think it's over here somewhere you can see it 
but the radio is super heavy the camera is all right um and all the equipment that we had on and everything and for some reason uh ethan always likes carrying things in the backpack and not just aesthetically props so we had like canned food and stuff in the backpacks and it was awful and while we were filming it was just super tiring we started filming directly after we got down there um we did the um, we did the running scene and everything trying to act like we we're you know getting shot at um ethan's little brother came down with mcdonald's in like the middle of us filming i think the part where we go behind the trees and you know that kind of helped out a little bit uh, we didn't stop to take a break we just took a chicken nugget in our mouth and ran behind a tree uh, um and you know we were tired and there was so much more to the script and i looked at ethan and i was like dude do you want to do this and he was he was like it doesn't matter you're the one directing it and i'm like i don't want to do this because those scenes require us to go down and up a hill down and up down and up and i just i couldn't um so call us lazy i am pretty lazy um it, it was fun um i'm gonna talk about all the short films so with the uh, vampire one um i forgot what it's called something silent something anyway um for that one that was my first time filming with an adult which was ethan's grandmother and thank you for that that was really fun and um, yeah she said she enjoyed doing it she loves doing things with ethan you know um yeah that actually took two two days to film because we were at, we were over at uh, ethan's property and we couldn't film because jay ransbottom the guy the big guy who played the bear um he was at his sister's graduation ceremony because he was a graduating senior and um he couldn't make it right away so he had to take the time to you know go over there and then come back it was a little bit of a hassle what we got there in the end um another so yeah that was a little bit of a problem but in the end we got there he you know he came over really late at night it was like 10 o'clock uh going to like 11 and we we're like okay we gotta hurry up we gotta film and everything it was already super dark out so we go over to the uh, little shed place that we're filming at and the second we start filming we hear the coyotes and um ethan's grandma calls us back saying we can't be out and so we're like hey just give us 10 minutes and then we kind of rushed everything we rushed my fight scene we rushed everything so all the scenes that take place in the dark we had to rush it so we really only had time to film my scene in it which was not good it was rushed and we're trying to work on that we're trying not to like rush things as much and I know that's a really big problem. Um, for the disassociated film, the one that only starred me, I regret that film and I never want to see it again. I watched it so many times and I every time I see it, I just want to cry. Um, just ignore that film, all right? It's not my best work, all right? It's definitely not. And I know I'm not a good actor. I'm not that great of an actor. But I wanted it done. All right, I had the idea, and I was like, "Let's do this." And my sister filmed it. She didn't want to, uh, and it just it didn't go it didn't go so well. Um, yeah. So overall lesson here is we're gonna stop rushing things during filming. With this newer one, uh, Ethan already talked to me about it. He already confronted me about it. He said, John, when you are filming, please, please stop rushing us. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try my best. All right, sometimes I just want to get things done. And I have to realize that, you know, you, when you start a project, you you can't expect to get it done in the hour, right? It just, it never, it never happens. It doesn't happen. So I have to realize that. So I'm gonna stop rushing people. We're gonna take our time filming. We're gonna get things right. Um, 
I didn't notice. I loved the blooper reel. That was uh, my, that was my favorite thing. And the World War II one is by far not. It's not the greatest one. All right, we only have three out, and so I can't really you know judge on them. But it's not the greatest one. I don't like it. But I love the blooper reel, and I'm we're gonna we're gonna do more blooper reels for like almost every single one of them. Trailers. I might I might do the trailers. I actually enjoy doing the trailers, so I might post more trailers. But yeah, definitely more blooper reels. Definitely more shorts, you know. It's it's all gonna be crazy. Not not like short like YouTube short. Maybe we can do some more YouTube shorts. But I was the short films. Yeah. Uh we're gonna try and do longer short films so they're not in the like six to eight minute range. Um Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna try and do longer films. We're hoping that this newer one is gonna be our peak. This is gonna be our this is gonna be our amazing the next film, right? Um so we're gonna take our time. We're going to you know do do a bunch of stuff. We're gonna do it better. We're, just do better. Anytime you're failing something, do better. Right? Because I do, I want to be a filmmaker. When I grow up, I want to be a filmmaker. I want to be known for making films. I want to be known for writing, directing, maybe even starring in them. I'm not a good actor, but hey, I, I like to star in them, right? And um, I'm going to try and write some more enticing scenes. So like scenes that really challenge my actor's acting abilities. Like I know Ethan Roma. I love Ethan Roma's acting abilities. He is by far the best actor we have. We haven't seen all of them, right? Some of them haven't had time to shine yet and we're gonna do that too. So I wanna give my actors their moment in the limelight, right? I want to like give them this amazing part that they will like, that they'll love. And um, I was talking to uh, Jay Ransbottom last night, and uh, he was joking with me. He was like, "Oh, you've been uh, you've been dangling a main character over my head since since uh, sophomore year, and you just keep on taking it away from me like a Jew." I'm like, "Oh, my bad." <laughs> so uh, I'll I'll try I'll try my best to um, to give everyone their limelight. Uh, we're gonna have one where Jay is going to be the main character. Ethan already gave me an idea for that, where he's gonna be this hunter cut guy and he's not down skinwalkers. But, uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I know this was very long, which is good. You know, we're trying to up the, up the numbers on the, on time. You know, get over double digits, probably like 13, maybe 14 minutes um, right now, anyway. Um, yeah, that's that's what I want to talk about. So um, I hope you guys keep on watching our videos. I hope more people watch the videos. I know not a lot of people. We've got 200 views on um, on our last short though i actually really enjoyed that that was awesome to see and all the comments made me like excited i started screaming at my sister it's like hey look we got people um so yeah thank you for watching like this it's actually really amazing just kind of see it grow a little bit i know we only have 10 subscribers but like that's more than i've ever had really and you know just those 10 i love it you know, it's, it feels amazing. Um, so thank you, really. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Have, that's all I want to talk about. Have a nice day.